Boom, Chanka lads and lasses. Good morning. It is the Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United with a fantastic video for you today. I'm, I was joined by Eric Nevland just now, of course, ex United player. And um, we've just had a great chat this morning, very early in the morning time, my time, 9 a.m. I got the Norway Norwegian time slightly mixed up. I thought it was 11 a.m. It was actually 9 a.m. So uh, I was a bit of a zombie during the video, but shout out to Eric Nevland. Uh, really gracious with his time. Great chatting with him. Uh, thank you to him for, for joining me for this uh, for this show today and talking to me about United and, and some of the things we covered in the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, and uh, and uh, even if you didn't, please do smash that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky little like on this video if you can. And get your thoughts and, and opinions in the comment section. Do you want to see more ex-Manchester United players on the show? If so, let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoy watching. Thank you very much for getting involved. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me on Flying Pig United this morning. I have got the great privilege to be joined by Eric Nevland. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, Eric Nevland. Of course, ex-Manchester United player, ex-Fulham player, Viking Stavanger player, Groningen player, Norway international. How are you this morning, Eric? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. It's uh, nice to be uh, nice to be on. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's great to get you. Like I say, you're the first uh, ex-player that we've had on the show. So real privilege to get you on here. Thank you very much for joining me today, mate. And um, how is it? How, how are things over there in Norway right now? Yeah, if you take away the coronavirus, it's all mm. good. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, it, it's, uh, it's all going well. Uh, and uh, luckily, we're all healthy. So that's the most important thing in these days. Absolutely. Excellent stuff. Um, we will get into United. Obviously, this is a United channel, but I'd love to hear about a little bit more about what you're up to these days and the sort of role you're doing these days at Viking. I understand you're at Viking Stavanger. If you could just tell us a little bit more about sort of what you're doing uh, over at Viking, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, I'm uh, obviously working uh, at, at Viking Stavanger, uh, with the club where I played from uh, when I was seven years old and until I, the, the professionals. So uh, my role here today is uh, I'm, I'm the CEO of, uh, of the youth department, uh, actually. Uh, so uh, I I'm, I'm, I'm re have the responsibility for all the the teams, uh, younger teams, if you to put it that way. So mm. uh, I, I have nothing to do with the first team and anything, but uh, but the, the kids. Uh, so I'm uh, making sure that the kids has uh, has a nice place to to play as football. Yeah, well, you're you're looking after the future generation then uh, of uh, and is, did you did you say Stavanger? I think I got it totally totally wrong pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I think we always Stavanger, say Stavanger yeah. over here. I don't know why. Oh but... yeah, that's the, maybe <laughs> that's the English way Viking. to say. Stick with Viking. Yeah, Viking is the easiest way. <laughs> so stuff, uh, um... yeah, so we, hopefully we uh, a few of our players will uh, break through to the first team. So uh, that's uh, that's what we're working for. But uh, also. The important thing is to get as many kids as possible to play to play football. Uh, so that's that's what I'm doing. Absolutely, yeah. Norway's always produced some really great talents. Actually, I mean, is there is there anybody in and around the Viking setup or in Norway in general that you think is going to be pretty special? Maybe it's, that we could look out for in England oh, in the future. I don't have any specific names at the moment, but uh, obviously uh, there's there's always uh, talent that. That you that you follow and that you hope will will break through and luckily we have we've had a few of our younger players that's broken through to the first team uh, in the last few years so so that's always uh, that's always nice uh, for Norway's sake it's uh, it's starting to look really good uh, with the national team and and we have a few players in the big leagues now uh, doing really well uh, like uh, Martin Ödegård, uh, Erling Haaland. Mm. Uh, and you have Joshua King doing well in the Premier League, so so we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of talent uh, coming through now, and uh, it looks better for Norwegian football than uh, in a, in a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some great players, Josh King, Harlan, like you mentioned, absolutely fantastic. I'm still a little bit um, annoyed we we didn't get him, but there you go. He went to Dortmund. So, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, yeah. um, I know. I know. Uh, on Sunday, actually, I watched the highlights to the game. But Viking played Moldy, didn't you? So you played Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's old team, and I believe Viking you you won three three two as long if, if the highlights I yeah. watched were correct. Anyway, yeah. so that was a massive win for you. Um, how how are you sort of shaping up for the rest of the season at Viking? 
it, it's been it's been quite a tough uh, first half of the season, really, because uh, we we won the we won the cup uh, last year uh, and were crowned champions uh, there and and ended fifth in the league last year. So so that was a really really good season for us, uh, and obviously the expectations were were higher going into this season, but. Uh, uh, it, it started a bit uh, tough, to be honest. We had to sell mm. our two best players after last season, so uh, it, that, that, that had a lot to, to do with it. But uh, it's starting to shape up now, and, and it looks uh, looks better. They're playing all right, and now mm. they started to win a few games, so, so it looks, uh, looks uh, a lot better now. And hopefully going into the second half of the season now, uh, it uh, we can climb a little bit on the table and and uh, and at least uh, yeah make sure that we have uh, have a decent a decent season. Brilliant, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I mean, um, that game against Molde that must have been a very big win actually, just because at this you know I think there's only a few games left of the season, so it's propelled you up to I think tenth in the league. So pretty good result that one against uh, Solskjaer's old team. Yeah, um, Molde is obviously one of the best teams in Norway and uh, yeah. champions last year, and and they've done done well this year. Not not as well as they should have done, but uh, mm. we lost five nil uh, away to them, and uh, to beat them three two at home was uh, obviously a big step in the right direction for us. Fantastic stuff. Well, yeah, great to hear about your uh, your current work at Viking. Obviously, I'd love to ask you a little bit more about your time in the Premier League and just in general throughout your career. Um, obviously, you spent three years, I think, at United. You had a couple of loan spells here and there. But I just wanted to know, what, what's your sort of fondest memory of playing for United uh, for the few years that you were at the club? Yeah, obviously, for me, as uh, as a huge Man United supporter, it was uh, yeah. was a dream come true to to just be a part of of the club. Uh, obviously, if you come to the, the biggest memories, is is obviously your your, your first game and uh, and the goal that I scored, uh, obviously at Old Trafford. Uh, that it was, was in the Worthington uh, Cup, wasn't it? That one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, against Bury. But uh, stuff. yeah, for me, uh, obviously, that's that's uh, great memories to. to it's an absolute dream, yeah. Now. What a dream yeah. that is to score so, at Old Trafford, yeah. Yeah, so uh, for that's uh, I, I had a two and a half great years there, and uh, it it kind of developed me to to the player I became, and uh, yeah, and I was a bit unlucky with injuries and everything, but even so, it was. Uh, it's not easy to break through at uh, at such a big club. So uh, absolutely, and, and especially at that time. Yeah, and with the striking yeah. force that was there, that uh, that was not easy. So, uh, uh, but I'm uh, I'm really grateful and uh, privileged to have been a part of it. And uh, when you get as old as I am now, it's always fun <laughs> to look back at. What are you talking about? You look younger than me, to be fair, Eric. And I, I'm ten years younger than you, so you do it. You're doing well, mate. You're doing well. Um, but uh, yeah, no, that that was uh, um, interesting times back then with this, the the squad quality and everything. I was just wondering, um, what was it sort of like playing under Sir Alex Ferguson? Was he as intimidating a character as they say? And what's your sort of first sort of memories of of, of dealing with Ferguson? Uh, the first memories obviously was uh, was good. He he was uh, to me. He was always uh, he was always fair and he was always helpful and uh, always treated you with respect. So uh, it was uh, it was a privilege to to have been able to work uh, and play for such a, such a great uh, manager. Mm. Uh, but uh, obviously, if if you don't do your job and if you uh, if you uh, do mistakes and everything. Obviously, you get the, the famous uh, hair dryer, but but, uh, but even so, he still he still had a lot of respect for everyone in the in the dressing room. Even if you were a big star or if you were like me, just a young kid uh, growing up. So uh, so it, I learned a lot, and uh, uh, it, it is no surprise for me that he went on to be the legend he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most successful manager, of course, ever, pretty much. Um, that's very interesting to find out. I mean, there, there is that whole thing that people say about him that he um he he had that whole sort of family feeling at the football club, and he would treat the you know the tea ladies with just the same as respect as the star players. So uh, I think he was just a great man manager. It it it, it takes me on to um to our current manager, a man that I'm guessing 
you know quite quite well with from your time at Manchester United, and obviously you've been capped for Norway. Is it eight times, uh, Eric? Yeah, so something you, like that. Yeah. Something like that. So you uh, yeah. so you've been around the uh, the Norway setup. Um, I'm guessing with Oli Gunnar Solskjaer at a similar time. I was just wondering, is there any sort of qualities in his personality or his character that maybe you thought at the time would would uh, turn out to be make him a good manager, or something that you thought maybe you know would give you a clue that he would go into management? Uh, no, I, I can't say. I can't say that I, I saw that early that that he was would become a, a, a great manager because when when you play and when you when you when you're a player, you don't. You, you, obviously, you have a few players that you see. Oh, if, if this guy doesn't become a manager, I, I'm, I'm going to be surprised. But yeah. uh, I've learned that uh, a lot of players that I played with and I didn't think of that would be become managers have uh, become become managers. Just, uh, so it's um, it, it's not easy to see it at an early stage, but. Uh, as soon as he he stopped playing and and became a part of the the United setup and went and learned from uh, <coughs> from Sir Alex Ferguson and and uh, and and working at a club as Man United then you then you knew that obviously that was the path he was was following then uh, you knew he had a good chance because he's he's got he's gone a great school eh, with uh, with Sir Alex and <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And, doesn't and, get much and, better than that, does it? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Explains, and, so. and, uh, and and he did well at uh, at Molde when he came back uh, to Norway. Uh, had a had a tough spell at Cardiff, obviously, but uh, went back to Norway and did well again. So you you always saw that it it was a was a talent uh, when it comes to to managing a team. Yeah, people talk about that Molde. Actually, I think that that is quite a big achievement because obviously I think Molde hadn't won the league for a very long time before. Solskjaer went and won it with Moldy. So people sort of say, oh, it was the Norwegian League. But actually, the Norwegian League's a good standard. You've, you know, teams like the, you've got Christiansen coming up yourself. And um, of course, Moldy and some of the big teams um, in the league, very challenging. So I think that the fact that he's come in and was able to get them back to that stage is is a big achievement. I mean, I don't know what's gone on behind, behind the scenes, how much help he's had and that sort of thing. But yeah, it's certainly to have the um, the experience of playing under Sir Alex Fergus, I think is helped him in management he doesn't strike me as being this the same type of character though he seems more of a a gentle man manager maybe would you say that's fair to say or do you think he's getting the the norwegian hair dryer out at half time sometimes uh <laughs> I, I i don't know to be honest uh, I, I don't uh, i don't, I, i've never experienced him as a, as a manager mm. and and i don't know how how we what he does in uh, in team talks and at half time and everything but uh mm. He he looks like he he has the, the the respect of the players and that's the main thing uh, and 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 I think his background as a, as a player at the top level and and at such a big club as Man United that has helped him a lot because he, he knows the demands the players are under and he knows uh, what's expected from them and if you can if you can mix that up with uh, with the man management and uh, and the respect then uh, then it, then it, that's a good that's a good thing i think and that i think that's what united have uh, missed the last few years with van Gaal and uh, and mourinho that they they were more uh, yeah disciplinarians maybe yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Jo Jose yeah. Mourinho certainly used to ruffle a few feathers and speak yeah. publicly about some of the players yeah. yeah I think you're right Eric I think Solskjaer has a slightly different style of management but it seems to be working okay I mean how do you how do you think he's done in his first full season in charge as manager uh, of United I, I think he's done really really well and, and I think um, uh, he should get a lot of respect for that because he, he came into to a club that there was a lot of problems. We have to be honest, and and I, obviously I just watched this from 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 far and and through the media and everything. But uh, as as a United fan, it 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 wasn't fun to watch the games anymore. If you know what I mean, it was uh, it was boring. It was always things happening around outside the pitch, uh, and and uh, he has. Um, he has kind of changed that. It, it, it's fun to watch United again. There is exciting players. He's bringing through the youth. He is uh, getting the star players to perform. He's giving them the respect they they want uh, or deserve, maybe. 
and uh, so so I think he's he's done he's done a good job and he's uh, he's had to make a few tough decisions and he's made them uh, and uh, I think as a United fan now I'm excited again I'm I'm excited to watch the games I'm excited about the players that are there uh, I'm excited about the signings they do so it's um, it's much more fun being a United fan now even if we even if we're not winning trophies at the moment but uh, but it's uh, uh, yeah it, it's a tough competition. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. I think if you look at the progression, we have improved in style as well. Like some of the football we played over the last season was really lovely at times. Uh, okay, you have, we haven't had that consistency of the olden days, but it's not going to come overnight. And if you look at the style of which we were playing under Jose Mourinho, yeah, it does seem like it's quite night and day what Solskjaer's trying to do. And like you say, he's doing it a different way. He's not signed the 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 big name players to the same degree that Jose did. He's he's signing a, a slightly different player, one for the future maybe. And also, like you say, blooding the youth, he's brought plenty of young players through. So I'm, I'm very happy to hear you say that, uh, Eric. Thank you so much for um, for getting in here today with your thoughts on Solskjaer. Uh, just, I just wanted to know um, your opinion on the signing of Donny van der Beek, because it looks like that's all done and dusted for United now. Do you know much yeah. about this player? And do you think that's a good uh, good signing for United? Uh, I don't know much about the player, uh, to be honest, but uh, obviously uh, they, they've probably done a good, uh, good recruitment uh, work uh, and, 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 and identified this player. And uh, coming through the Ajax system, you know it's a quality player anyway. Uh, you have uh, he, he played in the in the Ajax team. They probably played the best football in Europe a year or two ago. Yeah. Uh, when they when they lost to Tottenham in the in the Champions League, they were probably most exciting team in Europe. Uh, and and you've seen players like De Jong, uh, De Ligt, and and the players going through to to biggest clubs in the in the world. And uh, mm. now uh, now it's fun, fun. The signing from United looks uh, looks interesting, and um, hopefully he can fit uh, fit well into the setup at United. Yeah, and like you say, he he was one of the, the the standout performers in that IX team as well. So it's good good that we've got him. I'm excited about it too. Um, I just wanted to to wonder, you know, find out if there's anybody that you think maybe United or what areas of the team quickly United should be uh, looking to strengthen furthermore this summer. In your opinion, uh, I I would I would like to see uh, see a central defender getting in. Mm. Uh, to get a bit more cover up there, uh, and uh, they should say, sign Messi now, shouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I know. What uh, are we waiting for? Yeah, what are we yeah, waiting for on that one? Get it done. Get it done. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, I think um, I think they they are slowly getting the, the pieces together and uh, building a team that that could compete for a lot of years. So uh, a few more pieces to the puzzle would uh, would be good, but. Uh, uh, I'm st I'm still quite quite positive with the youngsters coming through and 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 looking at, uh, at the, the players that played last year. That uh, it, it looks exciting. So I think they will grow into a, into an important role as well. Yeah, well, they've most of them got the age on the side, don't they? Like Tony Martial and Rashford and Greenwood and all of these guys are still very young. If we got Jaden Sancho, for instance, that would be such a good young uh, forward line. I don't want to keep you too long, Eric, but just uh, just wanted to know um, what's the what's your favourite goal you ever scored in your career? I saw one against Fiorentina yesterday, which was pretty tasty. Yeah, yeah that was good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, nah, that's. Good question. Uh, I had a bicycle kick, uh, overhead kick uh, for Viking against Troms uh, in, uh, in the cup a few years back. So that's probably the the, the favourite, I think. Bicycle kick, brilliant against yeah. Tromso. Is that on YouTube? Can everybody find that on YouTube if, if I, we search I, for it? <laughs> I, think it I think it is on YouTube, yeah. Fantastic, great stuff. Um, just lastly, uh, just lastly, Erica, just wanted to know where are you on on social media? Where can people find you and um, and and all that sort of stuff? What, what are your social media channels? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm at uh, Twitter and Instagram mainly. So, Brilliant stuff. So if you search uh, yeah. Eric Nevlin, you can find him. Obviously, Eric played for a bunch of of clubs. He played for for Norway. I think uh, we, we, weren't you Roy Hodgson's captain at Fulham for a little while as well. 
I wasn't captain, but I played. Oh. The... <laughs> Sorry, my bad. But you were captain. Yeah. I think you were captain at Viking for a good number yeah. of years, weren't yeah. you? So yeah, maybe that's yeah. where I got mixed up. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, great career you had, Eric. Absolutely fantastic. Like say, must have been a dream uh, for for a, a lad from Norway to play for a big club like Manchester United as well. And um, and just the career you had, you know, it's an honor speaking to you today. Thank you very much for uh, for joining me, Eric, and I really appreciate your time. And like, like I say, everybody, go and check out that goal versus Tromso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do. <laughs> thank you Literally. very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Eric. Really, really been a pleasure. Have a great day, mate. And uh, and uh, yeah, um, it's it's uh, been fantastic to speak to you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you for giving us your thoughts on Solskjaer and Manchester United, and good luck with all your ventures at Viking FK as well, mate. Yes, thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Eric. No problems. So there we have it, guys. That was the interview with Eric Nevlan. What an absolute gentleman. Great lad. Great chat. And uh, it was great to hear his insight into uh, a little bit into his time at Manchester United and also uh, what he thinks about how Solskjaer's been doing this season. I loved hearing that. I loved chatting with Eric about Manchester United there. Very passionate lad. And um, just a great, just a great pleasure, a great experience for me to have an ex-Manchester United player on the channel um, it feels like uh, this channel's coming together recently. You know, we've hit 25,000 subscribers and we're starting to have ex Manchester United players on the channel, Lance and Lassa. So if you enjoyed it, please show your support by smashing that thumbs up button and having your say in the comment section about anything we discussed in this video. Please do get involved and let me know if you'd like to see um, some other players come on the channel as well. But anyway, that's going to be it from me today. Thank you so much everybody for watching this video smash that like button make sure you do subscribe to the channel flying pig united for more manchester united news and content we'll be covering the whole transfer window of course and the build up to the new premier league campaign have a bloody good one thank you for watching this is the pig take it easy and come on united <laughs>